Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Pittman deck from Elephant Playing Cards. What is it? Uh, right now this is currently a Kickstarter. You can head on down to Kickstarter and check this out. Uh, it's currently uh, available for backing and if it's something that you think uh, you'd be interested in, uh, you might want to head on down there and give it a look. What is the Pittman deck? Well, it's a creatively unique deck of playful poker-sized playing cards that's unlike anything else you've ever seen. So like I said, the Pittman deck is being released from Elephant Playing Cards. That is a gentleman named Ben Jones. Uh, you might remember his first deck of cards was Prism Knight, uh, and it was kind of very, you know, out of the box. It kind of pushed the boundaries on technology and aesthetic because it was actually one of the very first decks to have a UV gloss layer on the face of the cards. So this deck, the Pittman, it kind of takes that same creative impulse that uh, they've already based their company on and kind of pushes it a little further into something that uh, you've never seen before. All right, so this deck I have right here, this is an MPC prototype. All right, so uh, we're not unsure at this point if this is exactly what it'll look like when it gets into your hands, but it will give you kind of a rough idea. Uh, the front of the tuck case says Pittman, and down here at the bottom it says Red Edition. So perhaps uh, with a stretch goal, it's Ben Jones's idea to hopefully bridge this out into two decks, so it would be a matching red and black poker set. And you can see it's kind of like a heart balloon on a string and it's bursting with a bunch of little hearts coming out of it. The sides of the tuck case as well as the back and top are all decorated with Pipmen. Now, what are Pipmen? Well, you know Pips, right? Pips are the suit symbols on the card face. Those are the things like spade, heart, diamond, club. Those are all the indicators, right? We call those Pips. Uh, in addition to that standard element, the Pipmen, uh, they also have little stick figures and they're interacting with the Pips on the cards to kind of make these fun little artistic scenes. So you get Pips plus Stickman equals Pitman. Get it? All right. <laughs> the bottom of the tuck case does say that it is an EPC prototype, and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. It's Ben's hope that these cards will be printed from the Legends Playing Card Company with their diamond finish. As you can see on the back design, uh, it's made up of a bunch of little characters. Uh, it is a two-way back design. Uh, they kind of go left to right, perhaps at the top and bottom, and then they, towards the middle, they kind of spiral in. You can also see that it kind of has an invisible border, meaning that there isn't an actual straight line that defines the border, but it's really the bodies and characters of the Pitmen that define the edges. So just to give you a little sample, these are some of the Pip cards, and you can see that uh, they interact, right? So you got the stick figure characters of the Pips on the card face, and they interact to make little uh, vignettes, little uh, beautiful pictures. The other interesting thing about this deck are the court cards. You know, sometimes you'll get a deck of cards and the court cards are kind of a letdown. You're like, oh, they didn't do anything with them. But the Pitmen, uh, they thought about this and they're actually uh, one-way cards, meaning they look one way uh, when you hold it one direction and they look a different way when you hold it another. And they're actually kind of like these uh, mirrored stories. So say for instance, this is the Jack of Clubs and uh, on one side, he's a monster and on the other side, he's a robot. And they kind of go hand in hand like this one with the King of Clubs. On one side, you have a police officer and on the other side, you have a prisoner. So it kind of has a, a law and order feel. Your Joker cards are both unique. Uh, one of them is a Pipman Jester riding on the back of an elephant for elephant playing cards. And the second one is some Pitman in a circle with a jester dancing in the middle. They have a lot of other stretch goals uh, in mind. Uh, one of them is to do like an interior lining where they're at Pitman on the inside of the tuck case as well. And like I said earlier, their hope is to have a red deck and a black deck. All right, so that is my review for the Pitman deck of cards from Elephant Playing Cards. And if this looks like something you'd be interested in, I would head on down to Kickstarter right now and to give them your support. And we'd like to thank Elephant Playing Cards and Ben Jones for providing this prototype for us so that we could review it for you.